Hello everyone, it's Meg and welcome to a weekend reading vlog. I'm sure you guys can tell by the title but this vlog is for the Fall Into Autumn Readathon which I'm co-hosting with my wonderful friend Kira from Kira Foster and we did this readathon last year and we decided to do it again this year so Obviously that is what we are doing, that is why you are watching this video. Kira and I are both big fans of all things autumn and I'm sure if you guys watched the announcement video back in September you will have obviously heard all about it or if maybe you guys joined in um, we will obviously have seen all your lovely photos and kind of how you did um, which will be super fun. I cannot wait for future me to see how this readathon goes. But I'm actually coming to you on Thursday evening because I'm working all day tomorrow and I'm working late so I want to do my entry clip, like my intro clip for this video in the light. So obviously it is a weekend filled with some fun activities and obviously some reading and we do have some prompts uh, which I'm going to try my best to complete and I'm hoping also that this vlog is going to be a better success than last year's vlog because last year's vlog I had to isolate um, during the readathon which was such a pain so we're gonna see what happens it's gonna be hopefully a lot more successful I'm very much looking forward to it so I might as well show you guys the books that I'm planning on reading or book probably because we all know that I am a slow reader so the first book that I am going to get to, fingers crossed I can finish it, if I can finish a book in a weekend that would be amazing. But that book is our group book for this readathon which is the Jane Austen Society by Natalie Jenner. This is a historical fiction set just after the end of World War II and it's something about a group of people trying to save Jane Austen's original house and I kind of, that's what I get at any rate, that's kind of all I know. And I personally love reading historical fiction at this time of year in like autumn and winter. I love reading it all year round, but especially this time. And we also decided to read this because Kira and I are doing a, a live show for her Jane Austen read along, which she is doing over the next few months. And we are going to be talking about Prime Prejudice. So we just thought it'd be fun to do this book, seeing as obviously we're doing a Jane Austen live show at the, over the weekend. And depending on how much we've read, we can kind of discuss this book as well, which should be super fun. So let's see how, what happens. This is literally just over 300 pages. So if I can finish it, I think honestly that would be amazing, but we will see what happens. Um, and I have many a book to pick afterwards. If I ever get to it, I will share with you guys some. I have Run Rebel by Manjeet Man, I have also The Style of the Sea which I am really in the mood for and I honestly, I have so many books that I could choose from but I think those two are probably like my top picks for if I finish this book, like a big big if. Or the book that I'm currently like reading outside of this readathon which is still Life by Sarah Winman, we shall see. So just thought I'd do my little intro clip on Thursday evening whilst it is still light and I am very much looking forward to all of the autumn fun and seeing all your lovely photos and I think it's just going to be a super cosy weekend and I cannot wait. So I'm going to go about the rest of my evening now and then I will catch you guys tomorrow when the region fun officially starts and I can start to read. I am so excited. <laughs>
So it is now Saturday and obviously yesterday and Friday I started reading for the Fall into Autumn Readathon which was so exciting and obviously like I said in the entry clip I started reading the group book which is the Jane Austen Society and I am on chapter 5 which is page 46 and I am honestly loving this so much so far. I have been tabbing it and annotating it which is why I have been reading this slow. I would like to have read a little bit more of this by now but honestly I don't want to rush it too much and also like I said annotating definitely kind of slows my reading process down but this at the moment is very much introducing the characters of this book. It's basically this story in case I don't think I because I didn't know much about it but I know a little bit more now about eight main characters and this takes place just after World War II ends and I think it does jump around timeline wise and kind of like location wise and all that sort of thing but it's about eight uh, characters who try to save the original home of Jane Austen um, something along those lines so obviously I'm at the part now where I'm kind of getting introduced to all those characters I've been introduced to most of them so far and I'm really enjoying them and obviously Jane Austen Society so they all love Jane Austen and I love how like all the discussions about Jane's books in here so far like in the very first chapter of this book um, one of our, I'm guessing he's going to be one of our main characters I think he's called Adam uh, he's reading Pride and Prejudice for the first time and he said something and it just sums up the Bennett family so well. It basically says the Bennets, for all intents and purposes, simply don't like each other. And I feel like that kind of just sums the Bennett family up perfectly well. And I feel like it's really interesting. Obviously it's why doing group like group reads and buddy reads and doing book clubs and stuff is so interesting because you get so many different people's perspectives on different books that you get to discuss that. And I feel like that's kind of like what this book is as well. And like the bit chapter that I just read previously, um, two of our main characters were having discussions about Emma as well. Um, and I found that also really interesting. Um, yeah, it's just kind of interesting seeing like obviously these characters own opinions on Jane Austen's novels. I just find that really interesting. And I feel like this book is also going to have some kind of like slightly feminist themes in here as well because obviously this is at a time where women don't obviously have, have as many rights as we do now and there are some disgusting straight white men in their mid 50s discriminating against women and we don't stand but like I love our female main characters that are in here so far they're very independent very strong and I just adore that about them and they're also super passionate about Jane Austen as well which I absolutely adore. So I will, I'm going to try my best to finish this by the end of this readathon but I'm not going to rush it too much because I am really enjoying this book and even though obviously this is a readathon I've got quite a few bits and pieces to do over the weekend um, and just enjoy my weekend off. So that's where I'm up to with my reading. So I went out for a really nice ride with Finn this morning over the moors and you will hopefully have seen some clips from that. And I've just had my lunch so now I need to kind of just clean up my room a bit, do a little bit of washing. And then we are doing the live show for Prime Prejudice on Kira's channel tonight. So I have read Prime Prejudice and which is here and it's like fully annotated. Um, but I just want to re-go over my notes again and kind of just get a bit more familiar because it, I read this book at like the beginning of September because, like I said, not a fast reader so I wanted to get ahead of myself. So I just want to kind of familiarise myself with the notes that I've taken and what I've annotated and all that sort of thing in preparation for tonight which will be really fun and hopefully we can discuss our group book a little bit as well. And I'm going to go swimming this afternoon as well which would be so so nice. And I am going to do the baking challenge at some point this evening. Um, this evening? Uh, t this weekend, obviously. I didn't know whether to do it t today. I don't know if I'll have time. I might do it tomorrow. My original plan is to make cinnamon rolls because I really, really want to make them. I have made them once before. They didn't go out great, so I want to try them again. But we shall see. I feel like tomorrow might be a better idea. But, like I said, 
we shall see. So I'm going to go about my day now, I'm going to go and do my washing, do anything other little bits and pieces I need to do, and go through my notes again for the live show. And then I will update you guys when I have another reading update. <laughs> I need someone to hold my mind So of course it's the evening now and we had the live show, it went really well I'm definitely rusty on live shows, I have not done one since like the beginning of this year um, So I was a little bit awkward but it was fine, it was still fun to kind of talk about it and kind of hear other people's opinions on Pride Prejudice So I hope if you guys joined in on the live show that you enjoyed it as well and now I'm going to do a little bit more reading but I did my another challenge for this readathon which was to watch a film or a tv show that reminds you of autumn and when I was thinking about this this came to me randomly and this is a random choice but I hope if you are at least in the UK that you will get what I mean so I obviously it's Saturday night when I'm filming this and I decided that my show that I was going to watch for this challenge would be Strictly Come Dancing. And some of you may find that weird, but Strictly starts at the beginning of autumn. It starts in September, which is when autumn starts. And I was just like, yes, like those sorts of shows, including Bake Off as well, like they come on, obviously the days are getting shorter, it's getting darker earlier, it's getting a bit chillier and you just kind of cuddle up get cosy and just watch like some feel good TV shows that return year after year and VEs and Strictly is one of them. It's a show I have watched from the very first season and it brings me so so much joy and I loved it and if you are Strictly fans um, please let me know in the comments who your favourites are. John and Johannes are my favourites. I love them so much. I think they are incredible and like incredible people, incredible dancers, incredible partners. I just love them. Like I stand them. They are incredible and I love them. I really, really hope that they like win. That'd be amazing. And especially it was movie the week this week as well. So they did Pirates of the Caribbean, Fasa Doble, loved it. And I also used to do like ballroom and Latin dancing. So being able to watch this show again just brings me so much joy um, because I do really, really miss dancing. But yeah. That is kind of like my interpretation of kind of the watch a show or a film that reminds you of autumn, even though it may be a slightly random choice, but I feel like it does make sense. Um, at, it, at any rate, to me it does. So I've literally only read a few pages of this whilst I was getting ready for the live show earlier. I've read like four pages, I'm on page 49. So I'm gonna try my best to read some more. I don't think I'm gonna finish it over this readathon but honestly I just want to take my time with it, I'm really enjoying it, I'm in a really good mood after watching Strictly, I just can't stop smiling, it just brings me so much joy. If I ever get remotely well known when I am older I would love an invitation to go on Strictly, just saying. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed now because it's like past 10 o'clock and then I'm going to cozy up and do a bit more reading. I need someone to hold my mind. When the sun comes down and when I feel I've drawn. I need someone to hold How I feel I can show you baby one more time When I fall asleep Yeah I need you With me by my side So I
afternoon and I didn't want to like finish this vlog when it was dark so I wanted to film a clip with natural light so that is why I am doing the outro now but hopefully you will have seen the clips of me making some cinnamon rolls for my little like awesome baking sesh and I love cinnamon rolls and these actually turned out really well I was super proud of them uh, they tasted really good which I'm so happy about because I have made them in the past once and they weren't that great, but I did obviously did quite well with these and I'm very proud of them and I love that for me. So I will give you guys my final reading wrap up. So unfortunately I did not finish the Jane Austen Society um, at all. I'm not even halfway through. However, I am still loving this book. I am on page 97 and like if you can't tell by the tabs, I am really, really enjoying this book. So obviously I didn't really want to rush through it just to finish it for this readathon and also I had a few other like worky bits to do as well regarding YouTube and all that sort of thing but yes still absolutely adoring this book I'm definitely going to continue reading it after this readathon so you will probably hear my thoughts about it in a recent reads video at some point in the future this is definitely a book for people who love Jane Austen like all of the characters in this book we haven't kind of got to the bit where the Jane Austen Society becomes a thing but all of these characters love Jane Austen, they love reading her books and it's just a book about people who love Jane Austen and like everything about her books, like discussions on her books and the characters in her books and I honestly just adore that. I find it so interesting uh, hearing other people's opinions on different books, especially Jane Austen's books obviously they are so iconic just adoring it really loving the characters even though there are some really disgusting men in here but like the main characters like male characters are i like them so far at any rate most of them at any rate but yeah loving it loving the female characters as well just yeah main characters are great very much enjoying them and i cannot wait to see how the rest of this book goes because it is very short and i'm nearly 100 pages in and like this main plot point I don't think has kicked in yet but honestly still really enjoying it and it doesn't really matter that I didn't finish it in this readathon because this is a very chilled readathon so it doesn't matter if you haven't really read anything if you only read a couple of chapters or even a few pages it's just a chilled readathon that is designed to help you enjoy all the wonderfulness about autumn so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and if you took part in the readathon I really hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed the books that you read, if you did the challenges let me know in the comments if you took part, if you did any of the challenges, did you complete them all, which challenge was your favourite, what books did you read, let me know in the comments I would love to know and make sure that you also check out Kira's vlog, Kira did a vlog so I'll leave that in the description if you want to go and check her vlog out as well and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed this readathon if you took part, let us know if you would like us to do it again next year, maybe we can change it up a little bit, who knows, but I hope you had fun, I definitely did, it was just like a nice relaxing cozy weekend to celebrate all things autumn. If you guys like this video I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up as it really does help me out and if you would like to see more bookish videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be noted every time I post a new video. As always I will leave the links on the social media along with my goodreads in the description down below for you guys if you would like to see more bookish content that you will not find on this channel. But thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate you so so much and I will see you again very soon. Bye!